We're at Meerkans Boxing Academy and I'm working towards becoming world champion again in 2017 and you know, that starts with Liam Williams on April the 8th. I'm pretty pretty good all round, you know, I'm not special at certain things and I think there's not many things I'm bad at, you know, I think I'm probably just a good all rounder, which is what I've been told. This is the enjoyable part, you know, training and punching people in the face and sparring, that's all the fun part of it. I think the hard part is the cut and weight and you know I've been very, very strict and I can't go home and let my missus eat pizza while I'm sitting there with you know chicken and veg. Because it's just you know it's torture as much as it's you think you've got to be you've got to be disciplined and you can't do it. It's still torture when there's chocolate on the table there and you know you like chocolate. That is the hard part of boxing. I think every boxer will probably tell you the same. You know fighting in, in Dallas was you know one that I could only dream of and probably a lot of boxers will only dream of. You'll only get a handful of fighters who are fighting in front of over 50,000 people and to fight obviously one of one of the pound for pound best in Canelo Alvarez was was a privilege, it was an honour, but you know it was one that I was still sick, I was devastated. I lost me I lost my world title, I lost my first loss. And yeah, you know obviously Liam Williams is gonna see what I learned from that fight. I think it'll be a good fight, you know, especially early on he'll come. He'll be very, very competitive early because he's a good fighter, but you know, I think there's levels and, and experience will take its soul and you know, after the halfway stage, I know for a fact I'll take over. And I think they're banking on, they think I think he's going to tire after six. You know, I don't mean that. I know he's a fit kid, he trains well, but, you know, I'll take over after six and don't be surprised if I stop him. Gym finished, done with them. I'll show you boys a bit of Cardiff. About half of it now, as you can see, it's not very much, but um, just chicken, potatoes, uh, we got chickpeas, I'm not sure what these things are, probably some carrots, a bit of everything really, it's all, it's all good stuff and uh, it tastes pretty good as well. Obviously proud to be Welsh, you know, very proud of where I'm from, I, you know, no intentions of going away elsewhere, so I, I don't really see that too much as my fight and identity. It just happens to be where I'm from, you know. I just want to achieve, like, as much as I possibly can. And obviously you got the likes of Carl Zaghi, which uh, he retired unbeaten on his own terms. I'd love to be able to, to end up in his position and achieve what he's achieved. So this is, um, this is Cardiff Bay. Another, another best day for you to, to experience here. It's a little bit grim, but, um, you know, never mind this, uh, let's get inside now. Nice warm coffee. Yeah, we went to Vegas on the 3rd of March until the 17th. We was in Mayweather gym, Salas gym, you know, being on champions, ex-champions. Definitely a valuable trip because, you know, it, it broke training camp up and keeps me fresh and, I, you know, I'm good to go now. Obviously, apart from boxing, cakes are my next, next biggest love. Which um, I'm not actually going to eat this, it's the cameraman's, but it um, looks pretty special. Uh, yeah, I'm on, I'm on Twitter, I'm all, always following food sites and you know, food porn. I'm 10 days away now, and I start thinking about what I'm going to eat after the fight, and probably pay about 500 quid to eat the cheesecake right now. <laughs> and not for any weight, and, uh, but unfortunately that's not going to happen, so I have to get on with it. We're in San Francisco. This is where I do my training at Snack Systems. It's got great facilities here and I'm loving every minute of it. I could have gone and done the triple, hopefully become a, a triple Olympic champion. We've never had one before in Britain and I'd have loved to have been able to do that. But on the other hand, there was challenges um, in the pros that I, I wanted to take on. I wanted to become a a professional world, world champion like uh, my idol, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, I want to be known as one of the greatest female boxers that ever lived. And I feel like I'm just taking the next part, the next step of the journey to hopefully being able to achieve that. Nine, three more. Today I'll be doing my SNC workout and then I'll be doing yeah. some altitude training on the, on the bags. Just feel it all in the back. Mm -hmm. and if you need to walk up a little bit, you go right ahead. Uh, Mike Basil is my SNC coach, and he's also mm. my 
cut man and corner man. He does everything. He's the, he's the guru. So Nicola has been doing very well since she's been here. She's been international, two Olympics, two Olympic gold medals. So she's, you know, competed at a very high level. That's what makes her special. She can really, she's bringing to this female professional boxing a high level of experience. She's got a lot of power. I think that's going to be shocking. A lot of females that she's going to face. What do you eat for breakfast? Uh, all right, Nikki, what do you eat for breakfast? Gold medals. And when you go to McDonald's, what do you order? The number one. And what do you drink with that? Success. <laughs> ah! <laughs> right, guys, that's it. It's over. No more camera action. I'm about to do some sparring now, and it's top secret. I've got a lot of tricks I can't be teaching you guys. So, away with you. <laughs> See you soon. Hey, how are you? Good, man. You good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. Fucking hell, big yeah. lad. <laughs> that ring's massive. Yeah, no, you're used to getting in the cage, but... Yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've got in a few rings myself. Yeah? And now I do uh, Muay Thai and kickboxing and that. Yeah. Boxing as well. But the Manchester crowd, if it's, if it's a sold-out event, the Manchester crowd's crazy. Is it? It's crazy. They love a good fight, they love a good, good knockout and, and, yeah. and, and a good tear-up. Walking out is just like, you, you've got to stay focused, but you've yeah. got to embrace it as well. Do you get what I mean? Use the crowd as energy as well, yeah. you know? You think like, you're here now, there's no turning back, and you just got to, you just, you just kind of go into autopilot. You do everything you've done in yeah. training, and we're natural fighters, you know? So, so it's, it's, we just got to fight. Get the yeah. knockout, brother. Yeah. Respect, man. Yeah. <laughs>